Hello guys, Austin here, and it's quite a while since the previous video, and I'm here right now. I'm gonna present you with the next topic, and today is the seventh video of doing technique series. Now, today's topic is about equal or indentation operation side wing. So let's jump right into the particular problem that I faced myself that triggered me to present you with today's topic. Let's say you program in C++ and you want to peek into the source code of the STL implementation side of your system. Um, yeah, and this is the part, uh, the, the part of the header files directory that hold all of the header files that you, you use because the STL is a header only implementation. Sometimes you want to see how implementation behind is implemented. Okay, so you jump right in, you want to see future header and you scotch down to the things, go to the things and you not see anything out of order just yet. Okay, everything's fine. And okay, a little bit of stop now that you see, oh, it might be this line not properly aligned with the parentheses here. What happened? go through this and you go through page by page you're gonna see more of this thing happening it's like oh okay query is not this particular block of code is not aligned with the parentheses here so how can we solve this um yeah we can like uh use equal to indent that line to fix the problem for us um the, the problem with this kind of thing maybe stem from the different type of like a, the tab or editor setup. Maybe they use different number of space to equal to the tab. We interpret tab as space or not. You can set it all this thing up. We can talk about this later. Yeah, there, there's a setup for this like a tab stop or some tab stop. But, but we, I'm not going to deal down to that kind of detail. We want to automate solution to fix for this kind of problem. So, Equal come to mind. Yeah, you can now is a solution. You can enter equal two times to indent a single line. If it asks for changing lit all in files, it's okay to just enter it because um, we're not going to save the files after we mod indent the line and we're not going to damage the lit all in files. So you see already that SDL source is lit only. So if you, yeah, just just when you uh, indent this, just make sure you're not going to overwrite the file. But we only already prevent that. So yeah, just just be clear about that. You just mess around with the buffer that represent to you. Okay, yeah. So using properly indent now is good. And what about other lines? We can go go on line by line and then use this technique, the same one, equal, equal. We can go to do this all day, but there's a better solution for this. We can use motion in BIM for the benefits for this. So we go to visual line mode. So shift V and then you can select all the lines that you want to indent and then you after you select all the thing, highlight all the thing, equal, and then it's gonna indent it. But STI implementation is not something that just 10 lines or something like that, 50 lines. Um, as you can see, there's a one almost 2,000 lines for this file. So, how can we make use of that? So, use motion or in BIM again so we can go the concept, we can go back to the first line, equal until the end of the line. So go back to the first line via GG, equal until ship G. You're gonna see the result on the left bottom of the screen that 1756 line indented. And you can go back to that particular line again. Oh, what is this now? Yeah. And it's properly indent all the line, all the lines you can see. Yeah, you can see on the line. So undo it again and go back to maybe go back to the line. And, uh, okay, this is high program. Okay, again, just repeat the last step again. So we go to the first line with GG, 
equal and then shift G is gonna execute indent from first line to the last line so we can go back to that particular problem then yeah now we solve our problem um and that's a today topic actually I plan for this video to be delayed to the next one so you can check this video and also, and then you can um, check the next video in a short time for the old, more automate solution to this so we have uh, no need to like open the SDL header files and then do it manually each time so next one gonna be more automated solution for this let's see thank you